Hello all. Welcome to our channel, Civil PSE Helper. This video mainly consists of 10 previous questions from estimation. A person who takes the lease is known as Option A. Lesser Option B. Owner Option C. Lessee Option D. Mortgagee The person who takes the lease is known as Lessee. So, option C is correct. When small items are estimated for which detailed quantities cannot be taken out, they are considered as option A lump sum, option B contingencies, option C sendage charge, option D none of this. When small items are estimated for which detailed quantities cannot be taken out, they are considered as Lump sum. Option A is correct. The expenses of items which do not come under any regular head of items and the cost of unforeseen items are called Option A lump sum, Option B contingencies, Option C sendage charge, Option D extras. So, the expenses of items which do not come under any regular head of items and the cost of unforeseen items are called contingencies. Option B is correct. The total cost of construction of a project including land is called Option A prime cost, Option B investment, Option C annuity, Option D capital cost. So, the total cost of construction of a project including land is called capital cost. Option D is correct. The gradual decrease or loss in the value of property is known as Option A sinking fund. Option B obsolescence, Option C depreciation, Option D annuity. The gradual decrease or loss in the value of property is known as depreciation. Option C is correct. When the engineering departments undertakes the works of other departments, the amount charged towards design, supervision and execution etc. is called Option A work charged establishment, Option B contingencies, Option C sendage charge, Option D none of this. When the engineering departments undertakes the works of other departments, the amount charged towards design, supervision etc. is called Sendage charges or departmental charges. Option C is correct. The value of the property without being dismantled at the end of the useful period is known as Option A scrap value, Option B book value, Option C salvage value, Option D net value. The value of the property without being dismantled at the end of the useful period is known as salvage value. Option C is correct. The technique of finding the fair price of an existing building or property is known as Option A estimation, Option B valuation, Option C pricing, Option D costing. The technique of finding the fair price of an existing building or property is known as valuation. Option B is correct. Which is the value of dismantled materials? Option A market value, Option B salvage value, Option C scrap value, Option D book value. The value of dismantled materials is known as scrap value. Option C is correct. The amount required to be deposited by a contractor while submitting a tender is known as Option A fixed deposit, Option B caution deposit, Option C security deposit, Option D earnest money deposit. 
the amount required to be deposited by a contractor while submitting a tender is known as earnest money deposit option d is correct thank you for watching this video if you like this video share with your friends too thank you